guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, I'm going to be talking about like my ears piercings, how I got them pierced, when I got them pierced, how to like take care of them, and also my scary experiences because I've had pretty scary experiences. And yeah, also in the comments, please comment how I can like improve my channel and video ideas so that I can make my channel better for you guys to watch. So, the first, like, I have my ears pierced twice. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, my earrings are from Target right now that I'm having. Um, so, the first earrings I got done when I was in, like, first or second grade. Um, I would have gotten them done in, like, K4, but I went to the place that I got them done twice and I cried, and yeah, that didn't turn out so well. Also, I got my ears pierced done um, at a, like a local place that does like hair and make like not makeup, but like hair and nails and stuff. But you can go to just Claire's or like a tattoo parlor or something. Um, just make sure that it's like sanitary so you don't catch like any infections or anything. Second holes I got done two years ago when I was going into middle school. So yeah, two years ago. And, yeah, so, once you get your ears pierced, you're supposed to keep your earrings in for, um, like, six months, I think. You're not supposed to take them out, or is it three months? It's, like, three to six months. Um, you're not supposed to take them out. You're supposed to clean them two to three times a day with, like, I think, hydrogen peroxide. Um, they will, like, give it to you or tell you where to get it from. It's, like, a purple bottle. And, yeah, you just clean them to make sure they don't get infected. Um, I wouldn't recommend, like, getting them all done at once just because if one gets infected, it's really easy to get the other one because it's like stabbing through your skin. Like, if you stab through your finger with a needle, that's how it is for your ears. So, obviously, it's like a wound and it's going to get, like, infected and stuff if you don't clean it. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, just make sure also that you the needle that they use is clean and stuff. Like, make sure you go to a place where you know, like, make sure your hands are always clean when you're touching your ears because you don't really want them to get infected or anything. And, um, also I did wait, like, a really long time. I waited, like, three years to get my ears done. You can get them done, like, I'd say, like, six months after each other, but, um, also you should be really sure that you want this because... Once you get it, it's permanent. Even if you take the earring out, there's still going to be a scar even if the holes close. So there's always going to be damage to your ear. Um, yeah. So just make sure that you're 100% ready for this and that it's not just something like, oh, I want my ear stuck and pierced, and then the next day you're like, I hate this, get it out of my, get out of my ear. Yeah. So now I'm going to get into, like, my... Actually, there's three, like, scary experiences that I've had with my ears. Um, nothing that happened, like, when I got them pierced. It was, like, my own fault, I guess. So, the first time... Actually, no. I didn't get my ears pierced in second grade. I got them pierced in K-5. I'm pierced in K-5. Because my friend, I went to her birthday party, and then she left for first grade. So, yeah. I went to her birthday party at this, like, it's at the YMCA, and then... It was, um, a, like, play area, I guess, and my earring had fallen out, I guess, and my ear was bleeding, and I was with my dad, and he had no idea what to do, so yeah, but, um, and they weren't in for six months, probably, like, three or four months, so I obviously, that one came out, but it didn't, like, rip or anything, but also be careful, because if you rip your earring out, or someone rips it out, you can't really pierce them again because there's going to be, yeah. So just be careful. Um, no one ripped mine out though, so I'm good. It just like fell out, the back fell off in them. Yeah, but it was bleeding and I got really scared because like, I'm a little K-5 year old. The second time, I believe it was in like second or third grade. So I had like earrings with like, they were like studs and then they had something on the front. They were like Frankensteins because it was like near Halloween. Um, and the front of the Frankenstein fell off, and the, like, the stud part, it's, like, really small circle, it literally got stuck inside my ear, like, 
yeah. And I almost had to go to the hospital, but my mom got it out for me. Thank you, mom. But, yeah, it really hurt really bad. It was really scary. So I don't recommend purposely taking the fronts of them off because it's painful. It actually really hurt, and but my ears are fine now. And the third scary experience happened with my second holes. Um, so when I had them in for, like, two weeks, or one week, actually, one or two weeks, and my ear got infected, I think it was this one, my earring, like, swole, or my ear around it swelled up, and then my earring got, like, stuck inside the swelling, and, like, it was, like, really, like, there was, like, stuff coming out of it, it's really gross, and I had to take my earrings out, even though you're supposed to keep them in for six months, I had to take it out, because I couldn't, like, leave it in there, because I could, your, your ear could fall off, I guess. Or you'd have to get it removed if it gets, like, that severely infected, I guess. So, yeah, I had to take it out and just clean it and stuff. And it took probably, like, another two weeks before I could put, well, yeah, like, a week to put another earring in. Put the earring back in. But, yeah, so I had to take them out, like, a week after I got them. But, yeah, also another thing is even if you change them after you get them done, the ones that they put in your ear usually have a thicker, like, back not like a back but like the thing that you put in your ear like the needle thing on your earring um because then it helps the hole like stay open so then when you go put earrings in yeah other thing is to not take your earrings out in the first six months when you sleep because your holes would close when you're sleeping you can but and there's no like really discomfort for me at least except if like the back's poke like my skin but like the actual ear doesn't really hurt when you lay on it or anything so don't really have to worry about that I think earrings when you first get them it pinches and then obviously it hurts if it gets infected it really hurts or if like your earring gets stuck inside like what happened to me but earrings really just feel like kind of like you get a shot and then it's done it doesn't hurt at all you get more nervous in the beginning which it makes it, like, you get really nervous, but it doesn't hurt when you get it done. That is my earring experience slash care video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment requests. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!